Caddy 16 has a third party application built into it called Cadastral Coordinates. Cadastral Coordinates is an add on to the server application currently in Caddy, and I'm going to show you now how you can utilize this to speed up your survey drawing environment. First of all, I'm going to import a coordinate file. This current file that you see in front of you is called CRD or coordinate file, which is a normal ASCII file. It can either be CRD or TXT file. To show you how this file looks, I'm going to open it in Notepad. And in Notepad, you'll see this file is just a normal ASCII file containing, first of all, the point name, the coordinates of that particular point the type of point and the description for each and every point. These points you normally get when getting information from a, a Trimble station or a GPS device etc. Each and every point that you read into the station will give you the op uh, ability to name each point, to give a description, to give it a, uh, a name etc. etc. If I import that CRD file it will open up the file view and place all the information according to the, the values that it got from the ASCII file. If I do an orbit in model space, you'll see it actually places each and every point in a three-dimensional environment. Going back to my top view, zooming in a little bit, you'll see each and every point has a construction point placed as well as a text entity next to it. Currently, the text entity it displays is the point name itself. Now with this you can either import the points as I've just shown you. You can enter points manually via the keyboard by typing coordinates in there and it will place it in there. You can inquire any point currently in your drawing either just by indicating freehand it will give you the Y, X and Z coordinates or if you snap to any of these points you will see it gives you the Z value as well, the height. From this, you can also go to coordinate properties. Snapping to any of these points, coordinate proper properties dialog box looks pretty much the same as your normal object properties. But in this case, it will give you the name of the point that you've indicated, the Y, X and Z values, the type of point that you get, and the description as well as the file that you read those information from. Below that you'll find some point and text properties as well. So each and every point that you indicate will update the information in coordinate properties. From there we can also use some of the marking tools available in the cadastral application. For instance if I mark coordinates by rectangle and I indicate a freehand rectangle across some of these objects it will automatically mark it for you once it's marked you will see down on the right hand side of my screen it gives you a legend of each and every point containing a block reference as well as a text entity now these block reference legend symbols can be placed on each and every point that you've inserted let's have a look at doing that Going down in the cadastral list, you'll see there's an option where you can place symbols on marked coordinates. Clicking on that, I'm going to place it by type. And it will ask you for a scale factor you wish to use for the symbols. Now currently, those are the size, sizes of the block references. I'm going to make it 0 0.5, in other words, half the size. Press enter on my keyboard, then it will ask me for the marked entities, which symbol do I want to use for the beacons found? So in this case, I'm going to use found. Then for beacons placed, I'm going to use placed. And for points calculated, I'm going to use calculated. Once Caddy has done that, zooming in and uh, let's just unmark a couple of these coordinates you will see it places the symbol on the point read into the drawing that you currently have in front of you. 
So what can we do from that point onwards? We can scale the symbols if you want to make the symbols bigger or smaller, etc. You can also move coordinates. Move coordinates. You indicate the coordinate you want to move. Indicate a new position. And you will see the point, the text and the symbol automatically moves together. You can also, if I zoom into the top right over here, you can change the label of coordinates. Currently it displays the name, so if I change, say change label of coordinates, it will ask you coordinates within which area, so let's just choose rectangle, say OK, and as I've said, currently it displays the name, let's tell Caddy to dis display the type of entity. Select rectangle, and you will see currently it displays the type of point. If you go to rectangle again and say I want to see a description and you indicate a rectangle, it tells you that point is a 12 millimeter iron peg, that's a 16 millimeter iron peg, that's not piquant, etc. And in the same way, you can go by rectangle and tell Caddy to display the height of each and every point. So if I say display the heights within that area, it automatically just changes the display to show the height of each and every point. The nice feature about this is each and every bit of information it gathered from the ASCII file is basically taken up in each and every point. And when you get to the point where you want to change the information, you'll see the point is actually intelligent. So you can choose what information you want to see at any given stage. You can export coordinates as well from uh, these menus and as I've said the cadastral CRD application is a third party application but is a very very useful add-on to our current survey application.